Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam. This video in particular is part of my series on math. We're going to talk about geometry. Basically, lahat ng mga aspects, area, and perimeter ng shapes. There are already videos about those na natapos na. Click dito sa taas to catch up. Today, we're going to talk about triangles. So triangles can be tricky kasi yung formula niya can be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to switch over to my PC. If you have a copy of the workbook, make sure that you have it handy. We're going to talk about pages 22 and 23. Exercises on page 23. Alright? So, see you in a bit, guys. Okay, let's talk about triangles this time. Ngayon, before we even start with the formula, first thing we need to do is to determine yung types of triangles. Okay? And on types of triangles, you have four na laging lumalabas. You have the common triangle, which is basically any triangle, any triangle with three sides. Kasi talaga na common triangle kasi, ibig sabihin, there's nothing special about it. Probably, iba-iba ang measurement ng sides. Okay? Iba-iba sila ng length. And aside from yung sides, meron ka pang height. In this case, C becomes your base. Kasi yun yung uh, hinati ng height ng triangle. Okay? Ngayon, bakit siya importante? Kasi sa formulas, ang perimeter ng triangle is A plus B plus C. Basically, i-add mo lahat ng tatlong sides. Same thing lang with the squares, with the rectangles. Eh, pagsasamasamay mo yung mga border nila, basically. Sa area ng triangle, ang formula is 1 half base times height. Ang base mo becomes kung ano man yung nasa isang side, okay, sa pinaka-floor, yung height would be kung ano yung tangkad nung triangle. Hindi yung isang side, ha? Hindi yan. Kundi yung taas niya, yung, basically yung top, yung peak, tapos yung, kung ano yung yung kanyang perpendicular na uh, na line doon. Yung hinahati niya. Okay? Na ito magiging 90 degrees. Okay? So, one half base times height ang formula. Ito yung magiging base, ito magiging height. Now, again, kung common triangle, kahit ano dyan, basta yung height mo is kung ano man yung isang side na perpendicular siya doon, na 90 degrees yung angle na yan. Okay? And equilateral triangle, Equi or equal basically means, sorry for my triangles, so hindi siya pantay. Pero, ibig sabihin nun, yung haba ng tatlong sides niya ay pare-pareho. Pareho-pareho silang A. Okay, 3, 3, 3. Ibig sabihin, again, i-add mo lang lahat ng 3. And, meron ka pa rin kakaibang height. Ito yung magiging height niya. Okay? Kung ano man yan, ibibigay naman yan. Ito yung magiging height. Sa right triangle, ang right triangle, ang difference niya is triangle din siya, pero kaya siya tilang ni right kasi may right angle dito. 90 degrees agad yung isang side. Which give us, gives us kung A, B, C, ang gagawin mo na lang, itong B becomes your base, and dahil 90 degrees na siya dyan, ito na yung magiging height mo. Si A din ang magiging height. Kasi again, yung across na peak, Bababa mo, babagsak mo siya. Dapat 90 degrees. 90 degrees na siya. So, yun na yun. Okay? Ang isosalist triangle naman is yung triangle na two sides are equal. For example, itong side na to and itong side na to equal daw yan. Okay? So, kung dalawang stripe, dalawang stripe. Kung ito ay 8, 8 yan. Ito kakaiba. May 10. Meron. In this case, again, may kakaiba ka pa rin height kasi ito yung magiging height mo. Okay? Kung ano man yan. Pero alam mo na yung dalawang sides magka-pareho. Bakit siya magiging factor? Kasi sometimes, may ganitong tanong. Okay, kung nga, ito yung tanong. What is the perimeter and area of an equilateral triangle with sides measuring 12 centimeters and its height measuring 15 centimeters? Most people will find this tricky. Kasi ang mangyayari, nakoconfuse sila. Ano ba talaga yung hanap? Anong kailangan? Again, ang susi is to draw it. Okay, so drawing tayo. Sabi, equilateral triangle. Ibig sabihin, Lahat ng sides ay equal, pare-pareho. Okay? At ano yun? Sabi, each side measures 12 centimeters. So, ito magiging 12, 12, 12. Yung height is 15 centimeters. Bakit? Kasi yung height would be this. Again, kung ano yung nasa baba, across sa kanya, yan. Okay? Kung ito ay 90 degrees, 
etong taas na ito, yung height na yan is 15 centimeters. Ngayon, dahil kumpleto na natin yung sides, kumpleto na natin yung base, yung height, pwede natin i-compute. Ang perimeter is i-add mo lang lahat ng sides. So, you have tatlong 12. Your perimeter is 12 plus 12, plus 12 or 36 centimeters. Yan na yun. Yan na yung perimeter mo. Yung area is a little bit more complicated. Ang formula is 1 half base times height or base times height over 2. Pareho lang yan. Ngayon, yung base natin is 12. It's one side, which is 12. Times the height, which is 15 centimeters. So, 12 times 15 over 2. So, 150 plus 30. 180 ang 15 times 12. So, ibababa lang natin yun. Equals 180 over 2 or 90 centimeters squared. And then, that is your answer. Again, ano ang susi? Ang susi is to know kung anong kailangan mo and buuin niyo yung picture. So, drawing nyo. I-drawing nyo yan. Huwag kayong tamad. Okay? Kailangan nyo i-drawing. Kasi pag hindi nyo din drawing, magugulan kayo. Yung iba ang ginagawa dyan, yung multiply ng dire-diretsyo. And then, they get confused. So, okay, ang susi, i-drawing nyo muna. So, I want you to try it out for yourself. Okay, here's the information. Hit pause now. Alright, let's see if you got it right. Sabi ba, anong perimeter and area of an equilateral triangle? Again, equilateral triangle equal yung sides. Ang, measuring, ang measurement na kanilang sides ay 22 lahat. So, to 22 yan. Ang height daw, ito yung height, is 28 centimeters. So, to get the, the perimeter, mumultiply mo lang 22 by 3 or i-add mo lang yung tatlong sides. So, you have 66 centimeters. Your area is a little bit more complicated. It's base times height over 2 or 1 half base times height. So, area is equal to 22 times 28 over 2. Area equals, o kung gusto nyo 28, 28 times 22, pwede naman. So, 8 times 2, 16. This would be 5. This would be 16. This would be 5 as well. Okay? So, anong mangyayari next? I-add mo lang siya. 6, 11. Makikeri yun. So, 6, 1, 6. So, 616 over 2. Area is 308 centimeters squared. And then, that is your answer. So, again, ang key, kumpulituin lahat ng information na hinahanap, i-drawing ang triangle para makuha ninyo yung sagot. So, get this really fast. So, hit pause now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, about the area of a triangle with its base measuring 31 centimeters. So, kung ito yung triangle, ang base niya ay 31 centimeters. Ang height niya daw is 15 centimeters. So, what do you do? 1 half ng 31 times 15. So, 31 times 15 muna. 15. Pwede naman 310 na lang plus kalahati nito which is 155. So, you have 465. Okay? So, 465 over 2 or 232.5 centimeters squared. And then, you, that is your answer. So, again, ang key here, okay, is to draw the triangle and find out kung anong hinahanap. Alright? So, if you're enrolled in the review program, make sure that you answer the exercise attached dito sa learning experience na ito. Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. If you have friends who are also taking the test, make sure to share this with them para mas marami tayong matulungan. This is totally for free. There should be exercises that I'm making soon. There should be a link down below. Check nyo lang sa description box. Also, you can go to my website, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika to like that page para malaman ninyo as soon as a new video posts and kung merong mga free exercises. Alright, so thank you guys. Subscribe to this channel para malaman ninyo kung kailan lalabas yung kasunod. And I hope to see you in my next video. Keep learning, keep believing, keep praying. Aja, aja. See you in my next video.